Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sherelle and in this video, we will be going to the Cup Noodle Museum in Osaka, Japan. currently staying at the Holiday Inn Shin Osaka so do stay tuned for a full video of that but the hotel does offer a free shuttle service which is about five minutes to the um, train station so I would utilize that if you're staying in this area. After breakfast we are going to head out to the cup noodle museum it's about a 30 minute train ride from the hotel so it's not too bad and this was during a weekday so the trains were not crowded and you know you've made it to the right stop when you get off at the stop you'll see these signs for the cup noodle museum everywhere and there's arrows pointing you in the right direction so you won't get lost. Now once you've made it to the Cup Noodle Museum, the museum itself is free so you can walk in and feel free to walk around and look at the different displays of the cup noodles over the years. If you would like to make a custom cup noodle that is 5 yen and there is a noodle making class which is about 10 yen. Even though we did go during a weekday, the museum was a little bit crowded. They gave us these tickets to, I guess, um, time stamp the time we got in line. But the line does surprisingly move very fast, so you're not, you don't feel like you're waiting that long. Once in line and at the tables, you will see this menu, you, which you can choose from. They give you uh, different broth bases and items to put in the cup. They give you also time to design your cup. Mine's was very simple, so um, you can design it as freely as you want. Follow me on YouTube, shameless plug. And once you're done uh, designing your cup, you can get in line to do the filling of the inside.
done filling the inside of your cup with your options of choice, they will seal it and you can uh, watch it as it goes through to be sealed and they give you these plastic bags so you can pump it and make yourself a bag. The museum was a great way to learn about the noodle making process as well as how to make a cup of noodles. Downstairs there is a museum um, going all the way back to the traditional ways where noodles were made so I do recommend going through the museum as well as the gift shop. Now once back home in the States, I did want to show you that I did open my cup of noodles and eat it the first day I made it home. These noodles were so good. I should have gotten back in line to make two. They do recommend one per person, but if there's not a line, you can always go back and get another one. But these noodles were delicious. Now we did utilize the shuttle from the Holiday Inn Shin Osaka uh, to take us back to the train station where we could get on, on our Shinkansen. The Shinkansen was a great way to get around Japan, um, the most affordable way, but I did hear that the tickets were gonna go up. So do be mindful of when that when you buy your tickets to make sure you're really buying the, ticket, uh, the tickets to the destinations you only need. And we are staying at the High Regency of Tokyo. So um, I will have a full review of that as well as some of the activities we did in Tokyo. Um, I had a great time and a nice peaceful ride in from Osaka to Japan. So I do recommend booking your Shinkansen tickets in advance so that you can have the seat of your choice. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Cup Noodle Museum in Osaka, Japan. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel as I have more travel content and hotel reviews coming your way.